Um, criminal profiling is an investigative profession used to assist law enforcement and government agencies that investigate unsolved crimes. Um, it's described as the process of identifying behavioral patterns, personality traits, demographic, uh, and biological information based on the specifics of a crime. So it's a combination of the study of crime, criminal behavior, psychology, um, and forensics, all kind of wrapped into one. Um, the quality of the profiling relies heavily on the information and analysis of the crime and often uses data that is collected on previous offenders and similar crimes. The most common source of employment for criminal profiles is within the FBI. Uh, John E. Douglas is known as the first modern criminal <clears throat> profiler. Him and his partner, Robert Ressler, worked for the FBI and interviewed incarcerated uh, serial killers in hopes of obtaining details on crimes and understanding their motive. Um, this stemmed from uh, an escalate of serial crime that happened in the 1970s. Um, as a lot of people know, there was a lot of serial killers from that time frame. Between 1976 and 79, the two investigators interviewed 36 serial killers that were incarcerated, um, including Charles Manson and um, Ted Bundy, some of the most famous, who Douglas really gained their trust and got some insight into their brain, their mindset, their you know, why they did what they did. Um, he then was able to develop the Violent Criminal Apprehension Program, also known as VICAP. It's a database containing information, behavioral characteristics, and patterns that could be cross-referenced nationwide. This can be accessed by all law enforcement. So the VICAP database wasn't formalized until 1984, though, so following six years after, uh, five to six years after their um, interviewing. It was then put into a branch within the agency called the National Center for the Analysis of Violent Crime, NCAVC, also known as. Um, so law enforcement can submit details from the crime that they're working on, such as... Um, unsolved murders, suspicious cases, unidentified bodies, into this VICAP software, and it runs through profiles based on ideas that behavior reflects personality. <clears throat> so it works a lot with previous crimes that, you know, detectives have put in to this system to kind of help generate a profile. Um, Douglas created groundbreaking achievements in modern-day law enforcement. Okay, so to gain employment as a criminal profiler, you have to have a higher education, such as a bachelor's degree at least. Um, and this can be in multiple fields of study, such as forensics, behavioral science, psychology, or criminal justice. Um, if planning to go into the FBI, you're going to have to have that degree before you go apply for their academy. Criminal profiles are then expected to continue on into a criminal profiler program. Advanced degrees like master's and PhD in forensic psychology or criminal justice are the most common for this field. Most professionals work in law enforcement over 15 years before an opening presents themselves. It takes a lot of experience to get into here. Um, <clears throat> some other additional requirements, you have to be between 23 and 36. They want you to be young, fit, active, 20-20 um, vision good physical health, uh, free of felony convictions, be able to pass polygraph and drug screen, and valid driver's license. Job duties entail visiting, analyzing crime scenes, reading and writing reports, uh, studying human behavior and characteristics, developing profiles uh, based off psychological features and that you have found from the crimes. Providing court testimonies, working alongside police and detectives, as well as teaching everyone around them uh, what they're doing and how to locate these details. You also need good perception, attention to detail, communication, and analytical skills. 
Um, if you go within the FBI, you're paid according to a federal government pay table, and it can range between 36000 to 138000 a year. Um, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual salary is 63000 The top 10% salary is 106000 That's amounting to $51 an hour. And the bottom 10% is 36000 17 an hour. So pretty decent pay, especially if the better your um, experience is. <clears throat> Some of the negative aspects, uh, obviously this job comes with a lot of tension. You, if you make mistakes, that is, uh, it happens and it's very, it can be very cr crucial. Uh, psychological burdens, obviously, this is a dark, upsetting, depressing job to have with all the things that are seen. And then of course, in today's society, the media perpetrates profiles as stereotyping a lot. So that can be bad for the field. Um, I found a retired FBI criminal profiler named Jim Clementine. He spent 22 years in criminal investigation. Um, he's now a writer, media producer. He's also a former New York City prosecutor, and he writes and helps produce the hit show Criminal Minds that everybody loves. Um, He's also a certified police instructor. Some of the major cases that he worked on, helped solve, was the Joan Benet Ramsey murder, the DC sniper, the Whitewater scandal, and Guantanamo Bay. He also helped put away um, his own child molester. 